Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I got a new video for y'all. It's going to be ranking college football helmets. Sorry, I've been posting for, you know, a couple months, whatever. Had some stuff to do, but we're back. Let's get into the video straight away. Let's go. So, um, I think this is supposed to be like every major conference or something. Um, top six conferences. All right, cool. Got a lot of helmets to go through. So, you know, I'll give quick explanations for um you know what i think and we'll just move on all right arizona state um this specific helmet don't really like the yellow it's like mustard um for me personally this is just going to be like a safe and simple helmet arizona mm, too simple um got a lot of helmets to go through so we're, just, we're gonna be kind of going quick arkansas and it's just i mean it's pretty basic you know it's just red and you know Throw a hog on it. We'll go see. It's too simple. Um, who's this? It's gotta be like Purdue or no? That's Purdue. So it's gotta be Wake Forest. Um, it's kind of like a knockoff Notre Dame. Go D. Auburn. I kind of like Auburn. You know, kind of cool, clean. Um, you know, it's kind of giving me Arizona vibes, but the orange is nicer. I think. We'll, we'll put him in B. Is this, this Alabama? Um, you know, it's, oh, S, okay. It's not an S, it, vintage. I like how they put vintage here. So, I'll designate, like, if this is just, like, just pure nostalgia type helmet, which I think this one is, and I think it deserves to go in the S tier. You know, you can hate me if you want. Baylor, these specific green helmets. Um, you don't see a lot of green, you know, college football. So that is somewhat unique, but um, slightly basic for my taste. So I'm just going to go B, you know, simple. Who's this? Boston College, I assume. Um, knock off Notre Dame with, you know, some crimson or whatever. All right, BYU. Another one that's just too safe. It's too simple. It's nice, though. I like these cow helmets here. A matte blue. You don't see that very often. I'm actually going to put these in cool. Because I like the blue. It's different, you know. It's not like your traditional shiny, you know. Cool. All right, Clemson. Um, another interesting helmet. I don't know if you would say it's vintage. I mean, it's obviously been their logo and their concept for a really, really long time. But, um, you know, I'm just going to go. I'm going to just inkling. First feeling felt B. All right. Um, this is an ugly gold first off for uh, Colorado. I really don't like it. Uh, the Buffalo... And a um, CU. It's like just too much going on. You know. Like see how LSU has these two distinguished. This is like bang bang on top of each other. Layered on top of each other. It's not that cool. Alright Duke. Shiny blue on Duke. I like these. It's going to go A tier for me. The Gators. Another A tier helmet. Could even be S tier. You know. I'll let you guys um, scrap down in the comments for that one. Okay. Florida State. Easy S. I mean it's just it's the easy S tier. Georgia, Georgia has, are we sensing a theme here? You know, you throw a logo, you throw a stripe. Throw a logo, throw a stripe. Throw a logo, throw a stripe. You know, let's think outside the box here. Okay, Georgia Tech. Uh, same vibes, same vibes. Illinois, throw a logo, throw a stripe. And that means you get thrown in a B tier. Okay, different here though with uh, Indiana. This is a different red. I kind of like that. I'm going to put that in name. All right, here we go. Iowa. Throw a logo, throw a stripe. B tier. Iowa State. Brave take with a white helmet with yellow. And um, cool eye. Um, I went to Texas Tech, but they're in the Big 12. So should I disrespect them? No. I'm actually going to put them in A tier. I like them for whatever reason. They just pop to my eye. K-State. It's a B tier helmet. These are just, just so running the mill. Yeah, they really are. Kansas. These are actually unique. I like how they have the updated helmet here. Shiny blue, similar to this Duke blue, with a giant uh, Jayhawk on it. That's going to be an A-tier helmet. It's pretty cool. Kentucky, give me real big Duke and Kansas find. Should we throw them up there? I think so, too. See all the shiny giant logo here for um, Louisville? That's cool. Excuse me. Not a great A-tier. All right, LSU. You all know where LSU has to go. Has to go S-tier. It's vintage. It's cool. It's a staple. They don't change it. Why? Because it's perfect. All right. Hot take here. 
this is a dear D tier helmet for Maryland. Um, it's just too much going on. I get it. It's their state flag. You know, I know the history of it. It's D tier for me. Miami S tier helmet. The U iconic vintage as the wording would say. Michigan State different little bit of green here. You know, they've kind of updated this over the years, and I like it. And it's gonna go in the A tier. All right, let's keep it rolling. Michigan despise Michigan hate Michigan some would, some I, I might say we have to respect their helmet and give it an S tier just for vintage purposes okay look at Minnesota here look this is all, these are knockoff Notre Dames right but they're taking a little bit of a, a more of a chrome opposed to a shiny gold like Notre Dame has and I respect that decision so I'm actually gonna go ahead and put them in the A tier right. hmm I'm getting B vibes. Um, this is matte, but not in the same cool matte way that that is. My high school was maroon. I was a big fan of maroon, but I think it's just too safe. It's too simple. It's gotta go into the C tier. That feels harsh, but it is what it is. What is this? Mizzou, shiny black. It's B tier logo. Okay, now we have NC State. Kind of cool. You know, what are they? The Wolfpack. Um, I kind of like it. It'll, it'll go A tier for me. A lot of helmets are going in A tier. I'm sensing that. And not a lot of ugly helmets. Yikes. Okay, Nebraska. This is clean and this is an iconic look. With that being said, you would think it go S tier? No, it goes to the B tier. I don't like it. All right, Northwestern. Shiny purple. It's kind of cool. Um, Slightly unique. The N, the actual like, N logo sucks. I'm not going to lie. That's like a shitty N. Let's just be honest here. Um, yeah, let's see tier. Notre Dame. Easy S. Just class epitome. Don't mind all the Notre Dame shit in the back. Easy S tier. No discussion. Ohio State. Easy S. Easy S. Those helmets are sick. Okay. Oklahoma. It's gotta be A tier. Oh, wait. A tier. Gotta be an A tier helmet. It's a cool helmet. How many more we got? We got two rolls. Okay. Ole Miss. Shiny blue, but we're going B tier. Unfortunately for them. I like these Oregon State helmets. Matte black, but not in the way that uh, kind of like these are. Different style with an orange that pops. I kind of like that. So that means it goes A tier. All right, who's this? Um, is this Army or it can't be Oregon, could it? Like that O in the back, is that Oregon? Jesus, yeah, because I don't see Oregon on here, so I'm just going to assume this is Oregon. Um, it's kind of a shitty picture. But just based off what I can see right here, this helmet is ugly. It's going to the D tier. All right. This Oklahoma State helmet is kind of sick. I like how they have Cowboys um, written out in the script. That's A tier. A tier for me. Okay, Penn State. Easy as iconic. Really, it's really iconic. I mean, Oklahoma has, um, you know, could be iconic, vintage, whatever. But I'm just going to, you know, it's my video. I'm biased, okay? Pitt Panthers saw them live at the uh, Sun Bowl game. Great game. We uh, go rewatch that if you have it. But it's a B tier helmet. Actually, it's not. It's a C tier helmet. It's it, it's, it's yeah. It's same vibes. Same vibes. I know I just credited Oklahoma for putting their thing in script and Pitt whatever. But you know it's my list. All right, Purdue. Um, I haven't seen these helmets before. They're kind of cool. B Rutgers. Yeah, this this one sucks. Uh, and not the same. Like these are like same vibes, right? But this helmet doesn't have a stripe, and it's too shiny. It's too shiny. It sucks. All right, Stanford. Um, I want to put them in A just because they're kind of somewhat iconic. Everybody knows the Stanford logo helmet combo. I'm gonna go B. It's just we need some more flavor out there, you know? Come on, college. You get to express yourself way more than the NFL, you know? We need some. Let me pick it up. Pick it up. Syracuse. That's B vibes, man. B vibes written all over it. All right. TCU, easy A. This is like top A tier, actually. That helmet is sick. Tennessee, easy B. I mean, for the same reasons previously stated. That orange, um, a lot of orange helmets in the B tier. It's just not that cool. All right, A&M. All right, but A&M's direct competitor here is Mississippi State. So is this cooler or less cool than Mississippi State's maroon? We're going to put them on the same par. because, And we're even going to put them one slightly back because this is a, a matte, and matte's cooler than the shiny shit. Texas Tech easy s tier the black with the double t logo with the stripe 
it's easy here. It gives you these vibes, but you know what? These vibes don't have this. The black, even though you have these and these and this one, the black with the red contrast is way better than black and yellow. Okay, just to be honest. Texas is easy as iconic. It's vintage. It's cool. It goes up there. Okay. Um. Wait. This is Arby. That's Wake Forest. Just realized that. Okay. Anyway, UCLA. Um, saw them at the Sun Bowl, saw them play Pitt. They'll go right there. North Carolina, like the powder blue, they go A tier. South Carolina, now they also have like some sort of a black matte helmet. And I think that gets some A tier. A ton of teams in the A tier, not a lot of ugly helmets that I've ranked here. And yeah, maybe Georgia Tech or one of some of these would go here. Um, okay, USC, I think we have to, huh? I think we just have to put it in the S tier. Utah, not a bad helmet, but it's be You know, I like. I kind of like the stripes. We'll put this like up here somewhere. Okay, who do we got here? We got Virginia. Hmm. Kind. I like the like the swords or the Cavaliers or whatever. You know, yeah. B tier helmet. Okay, here we go. We got um, what is this? Vanderbilt. I mean, we're getting these vibes, huh? These vibes, knock off Notre Dame's. So, you know, we'll put them in their place. Virginia Tech, I actually kind of like these. This is going to be like top of B tier, almost A tier. Those are kind of sick. Now we got Wake Forest with a mat. This is a clean look. I'm actually going to, I'm going to go up here. This is a clean look. It might be simple and it might be safe. And that's totally the criteria for B tier. But I'm a sucker for the mat colors. I really am. Goes B tier. A, 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 bottom of A tier, excuse me. All right, now we got Washington State. This is a different element. I don't think I've seen these in a little while gray um what is there only one gray helmet two there's two gray helmets on this entire list and they're one of them unique logo also i'm gonna actually put them in a tier um you know it's my list uh okay now we got washington easy b it's just an easy let's not even think about easy b um now we got wisconsin tempted to put wisconsin in an s tier because i feel like wisconsin and nebraska are on the they're on the same level playing field, right? Iconic style helmet. But that, that end and that strap, that helmet sucks. It's literally only in B because they're somewhat iconic. Same thing with Wisconsin. I'm just going to put them in B tier out of respect for Wisconsin. All right, here we go. West Virginia, the final helmet on the list. Um, You know, even though they're in the Big 12, i got to respect them. And I'm going to put them in B tier. All right. Now that we got that situated, let's give a quick little shuffle around um, within the divisions. And, uh, you know, I'll do that off camera so I could spare you me thinking about it. And uh, we'll get right back to it. So here's the magic of editing. All right, we're back. I got these organized. Um, didn't really do too many shakeups. I, I kind of more focused like up here. Um, the real meat and bones of what uh, people actually give a shit about. So number one, for me personally, don't look at the Notre Dame stuff I have in the back. I'm putting Notre Dame, obvious reasons. I'm a big Notre Dame fan. And they're actually sick. Made with real gold. Okay. Second one, Florida State. Cool. I like this. Um, the spear. It's cool. Texas Tech. Clean, classy, elegant, class. Helmet. Then I went Ohio State. You know, iconic reasons. Then I went Alabama. Unless you. I felt like they had to be paired together. Same reason why I paired Texas and USC together. Then I went with a surprise little twist here. People, I assume, Big Michigan would probably be higher on this list. But I actually put Miami. Then I put Penn State here. Let's move on. I thought um, Florida could definitely be in the S tier for some people. And I'm sure some people it is in the S tier. So I put them top of A tier. And then you can kind of look, see what I kind of did here. Um, let's just hit on the key points. Um, I kind of moved Minnesota up. Wisconsin, um, West Virginia. They here kind of put the blue helmets together. I just kind of like these better. So I just moved those there. Um, I think everything's worthy. Iowa State might be one that people... Might not think it's worthy of A tier, but I like it. I think it's cool. I think it's clean. Then I went top of B tier here. We got Virginia Tech. Um, it's cool. I like them there. Um, I should have messed with this a little bit more. I don't think this is correct. Like, it's kind of like more like this. Something like that. Um, anyway, let's move on. C. I put, I put the maroon helmets up there because they're duking it out with each other, I guess, to get into the B tier. Then I put all the knockoff Notre Dames, even though it's kind of knockoff Notre Dame, kind of here. Then I put um, the ugly helmets. <laughs> Two helmets that suck right here, and then this one that I think is disgusting. And I'm pretty sure this is Oregon. 
and if any if they if whoever made this tier list just clicked just picked any other Oregon helmet, Oregon would be significantly up the list. But because they picked this specific helmet, and this is what I'm judging on, they're in the D tier. Unfortunate for them. Let's move on. All right, guys, I want you to comment down below. What do you think of my helmet tier list? Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what helmet should be rated higher and what helmet should be rated lower. And if you like the content, make sure you're liking, make sure you're subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Let's go. Hey, you guys made it all the way to the end. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked that video, here's another video right here that you might like.